Hi and welcome to the first of possibly a series of videos. Uh, in this one I'll be, be explaining or proving uh, that Newtonian orbits uh, don't decay. They, uh, why uh, if the Earth can continue going around the Sun without violating the conservation of energy, why, uh, why the Moon continues going around the Earth. Uh, this isn't this isn't completely true in general relativity, but in Newtonian mechanic, Newtonian uh, gravitation, gra gravitational theory, something will continue going round in its its little orbit. So I'll be explaining why uh, why this happens. Okay, you probably already know that work equals force times distance times the cosine of theta and theta where theta is the angle between uh, between the force and the distance and so it will be something like this this is the force the distance is here and that's the theta and we can get this into a more convenient form at least for this this problem uh, work equals integral along a curve that's this little c here of the force dot dr okay and the dot product has this property uh, which you can see up here so this is just adding up lots and lots of tiny little drs and timesing by the force at that point uh, dotting them with the force vector at that point. Okay. This is also a vector. And the sum of these create give the work done along that path. Okay. So it's understandable that this curve along one orbit is always closed. So to donate this we'll put a little circle here which means a closed curve integral. Now now that it's in this form we can uh, take advantage of something called the Kevin-Stokes theorem. And the Kevin-Stokes theorem basically says um, the closed curve integral of i, which could be anything, dot dr equals now. This is a different type of integral. This is a surface integral over a closed surface um, of the curl of i, which is just del cross i dot d a. So this is saying that if I uh, if I have a curve like this and I integrate along it, it is equal to if this was a sphere. Now I'm very bad at drawing spheres. If this was a sphere, I integrate i over all of the area of the sphere, the sphere in which the curve is uh, going round, and that equals uh, these two things are equal basically the curl all added up all over the surface is equal to uh, just the i dotted around a uh, curve on the surface so we can use this uh, we now know that the work equals the closed surface integral of the curl of f dot d a okay uh, you'll probably know what I'm going to do right now if I put that around here the curl of f because f is radial the curl of f is zero it's pretty obvious when you look at this the field lines of f are simply completely radial and there's no turning, no anything. There's a more mathematical way to prove this but uh, 
it's pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, there's no uh, no curl in this field whatsoever. So the curl of this equals zero, which means the work equals the integral of zero dot dA, which equals zero. So the work along a curve uh, that goes all the way around a uh, a body, so this could be the sun and this could be the path of the earth, uh, the work done as it goes all the way around is zero. So that means as it returns back it's got exactly the same energy and uh, obviously it has exactly the same gravitational potential, exactly the same kinetic energy, everything, so it can continue doing that loop forever and ever and ever. Okay, I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.